the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. And our live game is Barcelona against Arsenal. This is Peter Drury, and next to me, providing insights, will be Jim Beglin. Thanks for the intro, Peter. I've been soaking up the atmosphere, and I'm really looking forward to what lies in store. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? I'll choose Per Mertesacker. He's got his critics, but when he's got his determined head on, he's far more decisive in, in dealing with trouble, and, and so he should be at six and a half feet tall. Yeah, the scourge of so many strikers. Goal! Barcelona! Uh, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. Well, that has certainly made things interesting. Suarez has a go! It's in! And they are disappearing out of sight! Finishing doesn't come simpler than that. Bang in front of goal. It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't need, and they've paid the price and deserved it. Barcelona get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way, and that losing feeling the other. Now it's Oxlade-Chamberlain. Mascherano tries to get it forward quickly. Hector Bellerin. Now it's Oxlade Chamberlain. Mesut Ozil. Now it's Giroud. He's off on a marauding run. Giroud with a shot. Good stop. That wasn't easy. Oh, much more than a than a routine save for me, and and yet he just coped with with room to spare. Now it's Sanchez. Hits one! Saved only by poor finishing. I think he's done very well to get into such a good position in front of the goal, but he just couldn't put in the telling touch. PK pumps it upfield. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Neymar. And that's a goal kick. And it's Ozil. Sergio Busquets battles to win it back. Neymar passes it through. More and more and more and more! They are running riot! And already they're looking to run away with it! I just think he showed a lovely appreciation of where that defensive line formed and he held his run until just the right moment and he broke the offside trap and uh, he took full advantage, that's top marks for me. Three without reply, this is becoming a stroll. A real chance to break. And we hit half-time. It's looking very much like game, set, and match. A half of ruthless endeavour with a thirst for more. Just in case you think this is bias on my part, it isn't. This is fact. Barcelona 3-0 up at the break, precisely as they would have dreamt it. Is a poor kick by the keeper, been intercepted. Luis Suarez pulls off an exemplary piece of defending. Oh, that's a waste. He put on quite a show there. It's tremendous play on his part, Peter, and he's proving to be a, a right handful throughout the game. Ramsey aimed long and direct. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Rakitic has been told to walk, and he needs to be wary of his reaction now. He wouldn't want to risk further sanction. I just think Coquelin has got himself a free kick. Iniesta gets his final warning. 
Well, I think the referee would have told him to rate it in or, or suffer the consequences. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. And the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Arsenal uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Oxlade Chamberlain. Giroud, Mascherano gets it back. And it's Luis Suarez. Oh, great ball! Oh, wonderful, wonderful Lionel Messi! More and more and more and more! They are running riot! Well, no goalkeeper would keep that out. It really was a bullet. Well, the technique generates the power in that situation, and once power is assured, any goalkeeper's up against it. He's made it three, quite a day at the office for him. Oh, this has been an immense contribution for one player. He's been just about unplayable. The irresistible force today. Barcelona totally rampant here. Barcelona look as though they're about to make a change. Oh, that's not going to go down too well with his teammates. Rafinha locks it towards the front. Now it's Messi. Run out the best in the keeper. Okay, they've got nothing to show for it, but that was a really incisive counter attack, and it's hard to defend against that type of breakaway. Oh, that's great stuff from him. I would agree. Uh, it's tremendous play. He's full of belief and imagination and hard to contain. Alexis Sanchez, who's short. Arda Turan, with good energy in defence as well. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk. Oh, brilliant! That is brilliant! He's got himself a peach of a goal! Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Arsenal playing for pride here. The match surely be on them. Thrust towards the front line, and he's on his way! Corner it is. Messi plays it short. Now it's Messi. He's gone for it! And that may well be that. That is that. Barcelona.